Hello, everybody, and welcome to Feature Friday. Hi, I'm Jackie Kwan, co-founder of Uplifter. And today with me, as we have every Friday, we have Garrett Trod, our product expert. How are you doing today, Garrett? Hello, good, thank you. How are you? Excellent. I'm doing I'm doing just a, I'm doing okay. So doing okay. Today, Cold in yeah, doing doing okay. So <laughs> I hope everybody out there is doing well. Today we're actually going to be talking about league fees. We do know that we have a, a lot of clubs on Uplifter that are um, with a league that is also on Uplifter and they collect fees on, on behalf of that league. So so if you are a gymnastics Ontario club or a gymnastics BC club, for example, um, we're gonna show you how to set up your your fees within your Uplifter site if you're using Uplifter for club registration so that you can have everything ready to submit up to your league. So uh, without further ado, Garrett, do you want to show us how it's all done? Oh, can you actually add a little bit more ado? I do. A slightly more ado. Yes, no, that's perfect. Slightly more ado, please. Uh, yes, thank you so much, Jackie. Um, as Jackie noted, we're going to be looking at the league fees. Primarily today in this video, we're going to be looking at Gymnastics Ontario and Gymnastics BC. However, this, uh, these concepts and how you go about things, they're applicable for any uh, club the, whose governing body is with Uplifter as well and uses the league connecting uh, process. If you're not certain if your system uses the league connector, you're more than welcome reach out to us we could definitely help you out with that but let's take a peek at how to create your membership fees or your league fees that you can sell through your club and then submit to your governing body to begin we're going to pop over to the administrative side of the system and we're going to navigate to products and programs products and subscriptions and it's here that we can select the add new option from the toolbar we're going to ignore the fact that there's one there already we're going to click add new and that's going to bring up the pop-up here for us now the pop-up uh, this add new form is pretty basic uh, if you've used uplifter even a little bit you're probably familiar with these forms by now you're going to set your status you're going to set your SKU, whatever that might be. It's always a nice idea to have the year in there somehow. Uh, beyond that, you can also set up your name and your description however you'd like. And one of the most important elements in this section here is you also want to set the applies to to per participant. Once you've done that, you can slide all the way down to the bottom to the payment section and you can specify how much your fee is going to cost. The cost of your fee is oh, totally up to you, whatever you guys would like to sell it at. And of course, what you'll want to do is sell your fee, however much it's going to translate or how much it's going to cost you when you submit it to your governing body. You can also increase it beyond that, of course. When you're creating your membership fees, it might be true to say that you do sell multiple fees. Maybe you have a rec fee and a, an interclub fee and a national fee, etc. Uh, what you can do or what you'll want to do is create one fee in your system per price point. So if your recreational fee is say 35 or $30 or what have you, you'd create one fee at that value. If your interclub fee for mag and wag is another value, say $50 or so, you would create one fee to capture both of those items, even though mag and wag are technically separate sort of avenues, separate program listings, etc. Now, once you have these elements in place, you can then return to the subscription section and mark off subscription. Now, when you check this box off, we get a new series of settings that we can play around with. We're gonna skip this section here first, and we're gonna drop down to the bottom here. You wanna make sure that all of your, gym, or your gymnastics fees or all of your league fees are marked as mandatory. And this way, your users don't have a say about whether or not they wanna pay for them. They have to pay, and that way you know they're insured, which is the primary use for these memberships. Additionally, in this uh, option here, the checkout filters, this is where you can specify who is actually going to see these fees. Now, as previously noted, you're going to make one fee per price point. So you need to determine who sees that price point and who sees that membership. And this is where you can do that in the tag filter section. So let's say for sake of argument, I'm going to make my recreational fee at $35. I can actually begin to type in recreational and target that category. Now, what you can target here is going to be dependent on the way that you've structured your system, primarily your categories and your category levels. If you're not quite sure how to capture something, you're always more than welcome to reach out to us. We can absolutely help you out and make sure that your fees are applying only to those who they should, who should see them. Um, 
in another example here, I might be making my interclub fee and maybe that's $55. And I can actually target an interclub category level, for instance, if I have that set up in my system. So this is the way that you can control this price point attaching to the right people. Again, if you had MAG or WAG separately, you can certainly target those items uh, in here. Uh, you would target both of those items and then interclub or what have you and make sure that only the right people see the right fee. Once you're happy with who your fee is applying to, I'm sorry, Jackie, did I hear you almost interject there? No, I've been muted. You oh, muted. you've been muted. Oh, <laughs> see, now I'm hearing things. <laughs> I'm going a little crazy. <laughs> no, no, no. I, usually I hear when you're about to be like, no, but. <laughs> well, I, I was actually going to say um, one of the flexible things about Uplifter is that as a club, you have control over how much you want to charge for a fee. And that fee could even be zero dollars. Let's say with your recreational fee, you've decided as a club you want to absorb that cost. Um, you can certainly set this fee to be zero dollars and um, and have that fee just sort of embedded in your overall program costs so that your your members don't see this extra thirty five dollars. So so that is definitely one of the, the advantages of uplifters that you can you know, you don't have to you have a say in how it is this information is presented to your members during their checkout process. OK, that's all I have to say. No, that's perfect. Thank you so much for saying that because you are correct. Uh, if you do want to absorb those costs, you can actually show this at zero dollars. But it is important to note that for the submission process, you do still want to create a fee even at zero dollars that attaches to invoices so that you have markers that uh, we'll see in just a moment allow you to submit your athletes to your, your governing body. Uh, so you do still want to create this fee even at zero dollars if that's your desire. So now that we've set up the fee, we've made it mandatory, we've targeted who we want to target, um, and we've set our pricing, now we need to actually connect this to our league entity. Now in this particular instance, we're going to use Gymnastics Ontario. And so under my duration of subscription, I have a bunch of different options, but among them is Gymnastics Ontario season. So I can select that option. I can also select a season that I want to target. So 2021, if I'm going to go for the most modern option available. And finally, I can also check this box off. Now, if I don't check this box off, I'm creating a subscription that parallels my governing body season. It is when I check this box off that I'm officially marking this fee as my membership or my subscription that I want to submit to my governing body. Now, when I mark that, that checkbox off, you'll notice that these dropdowns become available to use. And these dropdowns, in for GEO's case, discipline level and role, these indicate the various memberships that I can generate within my system. Now, Gymnastics Ontario or your governing body will have the same dropdowns in their system. They're actually going to create programs in their system and use these dropdowns to create a unique combination of selections or selections, yeah. Um, so these dropdowns here will have different options that you can choose from. And so when they're generating their memberships in their system, the governing body, they can use these dropdowns to choose a unique combination of these options here. And by doing so, they're creating a unique identifier for that membership for that season. And you as a club can then use that same unique combination to align this membership or the sale of this membership to that membership that your governing body sells. So for instance, what we have here is a general recreational athlete membership. Now this is a very common recreational, uh, this is actually the, the generic recreational athlete membership that Gymnastics Ontario sells. And if you're uncertain about the combination that you should use for this, you can either reach out to uh, us here at supportedupliftering.com or you can reach out to your governing body as well. They'd be more than happy to help you out and make sure that your options are selected correctly. So this would be a common recreational membership. So I can mark that and I can start selling this and what's going to happen is when I sell this membership to an athlete, the system can actually check against the governing body's database and determine do they even need this fee? because maybe they went to another club as a recreational athlete and purchased it there and were submitted to Gymnastics Ontario or whatever the governing body is. And so maybe they don't even need this fee this year from my club. And so if that's true, we can determine that and not apply it to their invoice. Now there may be What's certain- What's great about that? Oh, oh yeah, go ahead. 
was going to say, what's great is that Uplifter will actually do all of that sort of checking in the background, as long as the member has actually provided the, the same um, information to actually match that participant, the same participant that's in your governing body's database. So um, a lot of that thing, a lot of that is, is automatically happening um, without you having to sort of do that matching. So, so that, is, that is in the background for you. Yep, absolutely. Thank you very much for that. Now, there may be cases where you sell a membership that can't quite be pinned down by all three or all four, if you're working with Gymnastics BC, for instance, that you can't quite pin down. Because we noted at the top of the uh, top of the webinar that you should build your memberships on a per price point basis, there may be multiple variations to the memberships that you're selling. And if that's the case, what you can do instead of selecting all three is just select the ones that you know are true. So what this means is, let's say I'm selling my interclub fee, and I know that there's going to be mag and wag interclub athletes. Well, for my discipline, I can't select one or the other because there might be both. So I'm going to leave this blank. But in my Ontario level, uh, <laughs> gymnastics Ontario level option, I know that I'm going to be submitting interclub athletes. And further, in my role, I know I'm going to be submitting athletes. So I can make determinations of the ones that I know are certain, and the ones that might vary, I leave with dash dash. And so this essentially captures my interclub athlete or interclub fee, what have you, uh, whatever sort of fee I might be selling, this will capture it, and I'll only need one price point to capture all of those various variations. Now, after the sale of these items, what happens? Well, it is the sale of a properly made league fee. So something checked off here with some options selected here. It's the sale of a fee like that that actually prompts the ability to submit your athletes to your governing body. Now, if we go to this tab here under people and accounts and then your submissions, this might be Gymnastics BC, might be GNL, what have you, this submissions page will list every participant who's purchased a membership from you. And as we can see, participant one to four here, they've all made some purchases, uh, luckily on the same invoice. Uh, but what we can do is we can scan across this information. And when we get to the end, we see the season they signed up for, the discipline, the level, and the role of the membership that they purchased. Now, the cool thing about this is, if I have these three already set, or these four or however many that your league has, if these are already set and these are a unique combination that's valid for your governing body, then all I need to do is export a submission and submit it to my governing body. The export that I pull from Uplifter is already set to go. I don't need to do any reviews. I don't need to fiddle with anything. Export, submit, done. Now, it may be the case that you've created a fee like we talked about previously, that is a little less specific. So maybe we've got some interclub athletes here. Boop, boop, boop. So in this case, what you would then do, oops, <laughs> in this case, what you would then do is you would determine what option you now need to select. I think I'm fiddling, sorry. Um, what you option you now need to select. So you will actually see their gender over here. So in an interclub selection here, you have their gender available. And now I know I want to do, that's a wag, that's a wag, wag, and then bag. And now that I've made those determinations, I can export and submit. So that is the general process of creating your membership fee, selling your fee to those who it applies to, and then reviewing that data and submitting it to your governing body. Now, we won't actually go through the exact process of the upload of this file here. Um, that's something that your governing body will definitely have uh, documentation on as well, and they'll have some uh, like facts and how-tos as well, for sure. Uh, beyond that, Jackie, would you like to add anything? Yes, I would very quickly. Um, <clears throat> so you know what I'm going to do. So uh, again, one of the other things that uh, that is uh, that provides a bit of a, an advantage with Uplifter is that as a league, if you are using Uplifter that so that your clubs are actually submitting uh, their memberships up towards you, um, as a league, you can actually configure those drop downs to whatever it is that you need, and and our our team will actually work with you to determine what those values are. And, and you're not limited to discipline, level, and role. 
Um, this uses uh, one of the features, one of the more advanced features that we have in Uplifter called blocks. And what we allow you to do as organizations is actually define what those blocks are. What is it that makes my organization unique and how do we define the different elements in, in memberships that actually apply to us? So in some cases we might have two drop downs, in other cases we might have three or four. And um, we work with you as a, as a league to determine what those elements are and then what those values are to make sure that, that um, everything uh, filters through appropriately. The other thing that I'd, I'd just like to sort of mention, just sort of in the background, again, the clubs don't have to worry about this quite so much, um, but it, it is good to know. You'll also note that under each of these drop downs, beside the value, we have a, a little element called weight beside it. Um, this is something that we use in the background um, in, uh, in concert with uh, the league site that will be able to do things like, for example, um, most organizations have a rule such as only the highest fee paid applies. So what we do is we work with the league to determine how to actually manage these weights so that if, let's say, a member registers for something that is higher weighted, for example, a, a national competitive athlete, and because they've purchased that national competitive athlete uh, membership and they've got that registered, let's say later on they come back and they decide, you know what, I'm, I'm also going to be uh, a counselor in training or I'm going to be a, um, a, a, a rec coach. Um, because the fee of the rec coach membership might be less than the national athlete membership that they have, Uplifter will in the background um, be able to, to manage discounts so that um, the fees don't double apply when uh, your members are checking out so that they can actually check out for the national athlete fee and then also check out for you know, the, the, the counselor and training fee and, and it'll automatically deduct the counselor and training fee because it knows that that is the lower weighted fee and and manage that for you. So, so lots of different logic um, and, and uh, calculations that are done on your behalf uh, using Uplifter, both as a league and as the club that, that is submitting up to the league. Absolutely. Yeah, thank you very much for that. So as uh, as Jackie has noted, really all of these elements come together to make a very cohesive system that really alleviates a lot of the troubles and questions about, you know, who do I submit this to? How do I submit this? It makes it very, very refined and very easy for both your clubs and both the league entity uh, to sort of manage all of these elements. So with that said, if you happen to know a club or organization that could benefit from a much easier process, well, we do have the refer and save option available to you. This can be found on your Uplifter site just by selecting the refer and save here from the menu. And you can uh, refer an organization and get some money off of your monthly bill, some money off of their monthly bill. It's a win-win all around. So uh, please give us a shout if you have any questions about that or any questions about the League Connector at all. We're always here and ready to have you. I'm happy to help you out. Uh, support at uplifterinc.com anytime that you need. Thanks so much and have a great weekend, everybody. Thank you, everyone. Take care.